where Republicans on the Hill are touting an energy plan they say will lead to greater energy independence for the U.S. It aims to license 100 new nuclear reactors over the next 20 years, among other things. And joining us now to tell us all about it, Republican Congressman Mike Conaway of Texas. Congressman, thanks for coming in today. Good morning. Good to be with you. All right. So it sounds like nuclear energy is a big part of this plan. Why? Well, it should be. Uh, you know, generating electricity for 40 years in a zero emission environment uh, is a great way to go. France gets 80 percent of its electricity from nuclear power. I've got to believe that American engineers and nuclear scientists are just as good uh, as French, as the French uh, scientists, to be able to, to do that. So uh, it makes sense on several levels. The problem is if the 31 uh, reactors that are currently in some process of licensing are built out, uh, nuclear power will still only represent 20 percent of our grid uh, when those are uh, completed. So adding another 70 uh, licensed uh, reactors to the fleet uh, is in all of our best interest. Do you think that's a possibility? Is the Nuclear Regulatory Commission on board with that? I mean, what are you seeing as far as trying to get those other 70 done? Well, absolutely. The Nuclear Regulatory Authority is on board. Uh, they've created what, for lack of a better phrase, a cookie cutter uh, set of plans uh, that a company can use, uh, streamlining the regulatory uh, approval process. Uh, it was, uh, is essential to making this happen. So uh, we can do it. Uh, I've got great confidence this country can produce uh, that kind of power. But uh, uh, the energy plan that we're talking about is biased toward American-produced energy, where there's traditional sources of energy or uh, renewables or uh, alternatives. Uh, and nuclear has got to play a big role in the, in the future generation of electricity for this country. And clearly there is a, a lot of pushback from the Democrats and from others who say they don't want exploration of what we have here now. They don't want to see additional drilling. They don't want to see nuclear necessarily. Uh, are you going to win them over? Do you need them to get this, this plan through the Hill? Oh, well, certainly we need them because uh, they've got us quite outnumbered in the House of Representatives. So uh, having them on board is, uh, is essential. Uh, it's not either or. Uh, it's not either traditional or alternatives. It's both. Uh, and again, the buy should be toward American production. Uh, why does it make sense to buy crude oil from Hugo Chavez and have him take our hard-earned money and use those proceeds for however he uses them, as opposed to producing American-based crude oil, uh, sourced crude oil out of Auto out of Continental Shelf, Alaska, uh, Continental, uh, the lower 48? Uh, those are American jobs. That's American production. American royalties going to cities and individuals. Uh, it's a win on every level. And so. Uh, buying stuff from somebody we can make ourselves uh, makes no sense whatsoever. We will use crude oil for a long, long time uh, until we get to wherever that utopia carbon-free uh, system is going to be. And so it makes more sense to produce it here in America than to buy it from Hugo Chavez. All right, Congressman Conaway, we wish you uh, luck. We'll see how the debate uh, fans out on the Hill and, and uh, if there can be a meeting of the minds. Well, let's hope so. America needs it. All right, thank you so much. Well, much more.